league play with a win by a score of 64 to 48. The Knights now 11 and 4 overall and 1 and 0 in Conference uh, USA uh, play. First off, Donnie, the win is what matters. It's uh, one of the more bizarre stat sheets you'll see. We'll get to that in a second. But, hey, conference game, it's always tough. I know you're proud that your basketball team fought through some adversity and you got the win tonight. Yeah, absolutely. That's, you know, conference play. Always crazy things happen, as you know, Mark. And, uh, you know, it's our first conference game for a lot of those guys on our team here right now. But uh, there's a lot of things that uh, we did do well tonight. But there's some things we got to get better at. And, and you just got to find a way to win. Some nights uh, uh, shots don't go down. And tonight, Obviously, it didn't for uh, UAB, which was important. They were 0 for 23 uh, from the three-point line. and that, that created a lot of long rebounds, and uh, we didn't do a good job getting those until late when we went zone. We were able to get some of those rebounds. But uh, you got to rebound those balls. You can't give that many second chances uh, in a game, in a conference game, and we were fortunate it went away. Kind of, as you said, a crazy stat sheet. Offensively, Donnie, no one kind of dominated, but I guess you're going to have to live with that in conference. Play a little bit of here and there for your players, uh, you know, where each player kind of came in. In, in, in certain moments, so kind of assess offensively the performance tonight. Yeah, I just thought we got stagnant, you know. We got tired out there a few times, and, you know, and UAB's out there pressuring. They're out there denying, and they're and they're a mismatched team. Uh, they have undersized guys here that can get out and guard, and uh, we knew that's what we would see tonight, but uh, our guys got a little stagnant, and we just started dribbling the ball, and we didn't have movement. It's very hard to get Keith a lot of touches in this game because they were looking to double him every time and try to play out of it, but uh, we got to be able to find a way to get him some more touches, and uh, I didn't think he got enough of those tonight. Night, you know, he took four shots in the game. A little bit of a game of runs. Your basketball team builds an 11-point lead. You hold them scoreless for seven and a half minutes, and then you went over eight minutes without a point through the first and second half. Game tied at 31, and then I thought a really key moment. He had back-to-back -back threes. Calvin Newell and Tristan Spurlock kind of reset the confidence for you, and from there your team played much better, I thought, the rest of the way. No, I agree. You know, we finally had a couple bucks that we got on transition, got a couple and ones there, and uh, I thought, you know, a couple threes loosened it up there. Tristan hit a couple big ones, and, you know, we had some good looks tonight. You know, we shot six for 21 from the three ourselves, but but I thought for the most part we had some good looks there, and there's some nights those are not going to go down. we got to continue to, to rebound the ball uh, offensively. You know, we only had nine offensive rebounds here tonight. A little bit of a frustration, I'm going to guess, in the sense that you've had games where you've had these nine, ten-point leads and a chance to get it to 14 or 15, and the turnover bug seems to happen. And, and, and I know you want to avoid that because that's how you find yourself in close games. Anything that stands out to you during those moments where you've got a lead but not stretching it. Absolutely. We've, we've talked about that on film. I even said it in the timeout. Here we go. We're here, you know, at nine points or ten points or 11 points. You know, you got to build on those. you got to come down and execute. We're playing hard and getting stops on the other end, and we're getting no value of our possessions on the opposite end because we stopped running offense. Uh, if it's it's a different guy every time. So uh, you can't go trying to score points. you got to run the offense and let what comes to you and build on that. But that's some inexperience on some of these guys' parts who haven't or, or part have not been a part of this, and I think we got to continue to execute. Mark. But good end game defense for your team. I mean, once you did establish that back again, you really kind of denied them. You mentioned the zone. That kind of took away their offensive rebounds. You had to be happy with the end of the final few minutes. No, it was. You know, Daquan Walker got some big uh, defensive rebounds. We were talking about those long rebounds. Those guards got to get them. Calvin's got to get them. And, and so does uh, Daquan. But I thought Daquan, you know, ended up having uh, seven rebounds in the game. And uh, I thought he went up and got some and led the break, which were important for us. On the road now, any time we go on the road, it's a challenge. We go to East Carolina Saturday, a couple days to prepare. Then we travel up there. Uh, they're a basketball team. It keeps getting better with Jeff Lebo there. Some new players. Uh, quick thought on the Pirates. Coming yeah, up. very talented. You know, Jeff's had those guys in, in their system for a while. You know, their point guard is very talented. He's a kid from right here in Florida uh, that can really score for him. And, uh, and obviously, they've been playing, uh, you know, in his system now for three years. And a lot of those guys have been in it. So uh, they've had some good wins. Uh, they had a great showing at North Carolina where they played them all the way down to the stretch. So playing at their place will be a tough environment anywhere on the road. You know how difficult that is on Saturday, and I'm sure they'll have a great crowd. So it'll be a great opportunity for us uh, to play a road game. Well, I'll kick off the conference with a win. Congratulations, Donnie. Thanks, Mike. Knights win it, 64-48. Uh, uh, Calvin Newell is going to sit down and join us before we uh, continue with our post game. Uh, Knights, again, a 16-point win, 64-48 over uh, the Blazers of UAB to kick off uh, the season. Knights now 11-4 and four overall, while UAB uh, drops to 8-8, eight and eight. and Calvin Newell joins us. Uh, always good to win a conference game. Just overall, uh, some thoughts on getting the W tonight. I think it was great for the team to start the conference off with a win, you know, any, a large margin at that, you know, so I think it's good on behalf of everyone, the coaches and our teammates. It was an interesting game, Calvin. They scored the first basket, then you guys kind of established you had a lead, and then things went kind of ice cold. You held them scoreless for over eight minutes. What did you like defensively that you guys did in the first half, you thought? 
I think we were getting more rebounds, and also we were stopping the guards from getting in the paint. After the guards started getting into the paint, you know, I, that they started getting layups or, you know, little duck-ins, and the duck-ins would miss, and then they'll get rebounds, you know. And I think mm, the guards started to rebound, too, and box out. Was it frustrating to see the offensive rebounds they kept getting? I mean, they were 0 for 23 from the three-point line, but they had 25 offensive rebounds. I know that can be frustrating. You got to keep on playing defense. But anything that, that they did, or was it just long shots led to rebounds for them? Yeah, this, they, they jacked up a lot of threes, so that means they, they was getting long rebounds. And I don't think myself or any other players of any other guard were in the right position to get the rebound like we were supposed to. You know, coach was you know, getting on us about that, you know, we weren't in the right position because long shot, I mean, long shots mean long rebounds, you know, and that's the guard's position because the bigs were doing their job. 31-31, they made that 11-0 run, and then I thought two key plays, your three-pointer, Trishan's three-pointer, seemed like it gave you guys the confidence again, and you guys kind of locked down after that. Yeah, I, I think that that was big, you know, because they, they, had this, they had the momentum, they had everything, that three kind of, you know, put the dagger in him, and then Tristan's three was big, too. We needed that. You know, he stepped up big tonight. I'm proud of him. For you, it seems as if you're getting a lot more comfortable. Uh, I think you would agree. The first couple of games, you were trying to do so much, but you look a lot more comfortable on both ends of the court right now. Is that an accurate read on your play at the moment? Yeah, I kind of let my defense start my offense. You know, I start off with defense. You know, I don't worry about when I get the ball. I don't worry about how many times I get the ball. I just worry about, you know, getting a stop. What can I do? to impact, impact the game without scoring. It looks as if also now the coach has Z back there with both you and Daquan. We're talking about three guys that can handle the ball. How much has it helped you with a little bit of the change right now where there's not as much pressure every time possession to have the ball? And how does Z help you on that court? Z helped me a lot. You know, it's not just one person out there dribbling around. You know, if I'm a little exhausted or Z a little exhausted, he can say Calvin, go to the point, or I can say Z. You go to the point, you know, it just, a point guard is a lot, you know, just doing a lot of running around. And then when he's going, I can play defense. And then when I'm going, you know, when I'm going, he can get me the ball, you know. Uh, I made a couple of comments with Taylor Young. They called a couple of the palms, and both Till and I were joking. We had the Philly guy and then Z, the Detroit guy. And I said, in the playground, you can carry it that way, right? What yeah. are they calling that, right? Yeah. That's not a palm in Philadelphia in the courts, nah, right? A AI created that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just do I, Al Nyerson do it. I don't know why they called that. Um, now you guys go on the road. You know it's tough to win road games, and if you're going to contend for a title, you got to win your share of road games. What do you hope the team takes out of a game like this and now going on the road where it's always tough to win? Um, basically, we need. I think we need a little rest. You know, we've been playing a lot. Tonight was, you know, it was a – the score don't really simulate the game at all. So I think, you know, we just need some rest to come back stronger. And also, you know, the young guys to step up like – Daquan Walker, you know, from Philadelphia, he, he steps up big time. You know, he's starting to fill his role out. He's starting to do really good, and I'm proud of him. Well, a uh, nice game tonight for you, uh, 12 points. UCF uh, gets the win by a score, uh, rather 14 points. UCF gets the win 64-48. Thanks uh, for Thank coming you. out, Calvin. Thank Back you. to wrap it up in a moment with the UCF IMG Sports Network.